So if you've used autofill in Excel, you know that you can fill dates and you may have also seen another video I've done where you can just fill weekdays so it doesn't include the weekends. What I've got on this sheet is where I have just filled the month. So it's going down here. You can see July, August, September, October. OK, this is in UK format where we have day, month, year. But this is going to work if you're, say, using US formats where you have or another format, in fact. Um, so if you've got um, the month, the day and then the year, this will work the same. So this is the month. This is increasing by the year. And over here you can see I've got it to display what the actual month is and here what the year is. So I've got a separate spreadsheet and I'm going to show you how to do both of these and also how to display the month like this and the year like this. So let's just go to sheet four here down at the bottom. I'm going to put in today's date. Now there's a simple way you can do this and this works the same whether you're using a Mac or a Windows PC. In fact, everything I'm showing you here works exactly the same way. So I'm going to do control and the semicolon and that automatically puts the date in. Let's just do that over here as well. So it's com control and the semicolon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom of the cell. So the cell is selected. I'm going to go to the right hand corner. Now you might know that if I just click and drag, that's just going to fill the dates in sequence. So I'm just going to go back with the autofill to clear it. What I'm going to do is right click. Now this works on the Windows and the Mac, the right click. If you haven't got the right click enabled on your Mac, which I think is actually a good idea, if you don't, just hold control and click and it will do the same thing and keep the control down until you let go. Right, so I'm just going to right click, drag it down. And when I let go, it comes up with fill months. So let's just do that. You can see that there are other options for weekdays as well. And in a moment, you're going to see fill years as well. So let's just fill the months there. So obviously, I could do the same here. I can just right click or control click if you have to on the Mac, drag it down to here, and you'll see it becomes fill years. OK. So that's great. It's done both of those. I can display the month here and I'm going to display the month in two ways. Once as a number and also with the actual word showing there as well. Now there's a function for showing it as a number. So if I go into my formulas here, you'll see that's my formulas tab at the top. I've got date and time. If I click on that, you'll see there is one here for month. Click there wants to know the serial number. That's actually the cell that's got the data in it. So I'm just going to click here and click OK. Now, obviously, I could have typed that in. Now I'm going to autofill that down. I'm going to click and drag. And you'll see it's now got it here as the number. So seven, I know, is July, August, September, and so on going down like that. If I want to display it as an actual word, I can use the number formatting for that. I'm going to go back here onto the Home tab. I'm going to press Equals. I'm going to click on A4, which has got the date in it, and just press Enter. So it has just put that in there. Let's click there. I said I was going to use the number formatting that's here on the Home tab, just here where it says Date, where you would choose your other number formats, like decimal places and so on. I click down the bottom, it's got more number formats. And here's a neat little trick if I do custom. And you would have seen this if you've seen the fill the weekdays. What I do is here it's got the type, it's showing DDMMYY, which is the date, month, and year with just two numbers. And the same here again, and then the full year, so you can see it displayed like that. So I'm just going to highlight that type. And you'll see that if I type M, it shows it as just the number seven because it's July. Two M's puts the leading zero in because it's doing it as two number display. Pressing it for the third time to do MMM, -M -M, looks like mmm, shows you the month as a shortened version. And then if you do four M's, you get the whole month in there, the whole word. So let's click on OK. Now, I could click and drag that down. A little trick that you might have seen me use before is if I just double click on the corner where the autofill is, 
it will fill it down to the end here to match so filling that whole range and you can see it's now put that in for the year it's going to do that using the function so i could just type it in but let's go to the formulas tab again go to date and time and if i scroll down i have year choose that for the serial number i just need this cell here f4 click on ok and it shows me as 2020 double clicking on the bottom right hand corner is going to fill that for me so there you have it that's how you can do the dates filling just the months or the years and you can now know how to display the month and the year as well in different formats so that's a really good one to do if you want to you can see how i did the weekdays i've got a link below so you can see that i've also got another one on showing you how to use autofill for some other things and again the link is below if you like this please do share it please subscribe and also please like it thanks for watching and stay safe